Welcome to Crimescape, the channel where we delve into the chilling world of real-life crimes. In a quiet Utah town, a chilling tale of deceit and death unfolds. Corey Richens, a mother of three and a children's book author, stands accused of a crime that has sent shockwaves through the community. Did this seemingly ordinary woman fatally poison her husband, Eric Richens, for financial gain? Or is she an innocent victim caught in a web of unfounded accusations? As we delve into the twists and turns of this gripping saga, we ask, what really happened to Eric Richens? In the quiet month of March 2022, the Richens household was struck by a devastating tragedy. Eric Richens, a successful businessman, a loving father of three, and the husband of Curie Richens, was found lifeless. The cause? A fatal overdose of fentanyl, a potent and dangerous opioid. But this was no ordinary case of drug overdose. Prosecutors were quick to point fingers at Curie, alleging that she was the one who administered the lethal dose to her husband. The accusations painted a chilling picture. A wife allegedly poisoning her husband, turning the safe haven of their home into a crime scene. But was this the truth? Was Kuri Richens a grieving widow blindsided by her husband's untimely death? Or was she a cold-blooded murderer who carefully planned and executed her husband's demise? Over a year later, on May 8, 2023, the tranquility of a spring morning was shattered by the sound of sirens. Kuri Richens, a respected children's book author and a well-known figure in her community, found herself in the middle of a nightmare. She was placed under arrest, accused of the unthinkable, the murder of her own husband. The charges were severe, the implications life-altering. As Curry was led away in handcuffs, her neighbors watched in disbelief. The news spread like wildfire, leaving the community in shock and confusion. Could the woman they knew, the mother who wrote about dealing with grief, be capable of such a heinous act? As Curry sat in her cell, the question hung heavy in the air. Was she a victim of circumstantial evidence? Or was she truly the mastermind behind her husband's untimely death? As the summer sun began to warm the town in June, Curry Richens found herself in a cold courtroom. On June 9, 2023, her attorneys filed a motion for her release. They argued that there was no concrete evidence to support the allegations against Curry. They painted a picture of a loving wife, not a calculating killer. They challenged the prosecution's narrative, questioning the lack of text messages or documents that could prove Eric ever suspected his wife of foul play. They countered the claims of a fatal trip to Greece and a suspicious Valentine's Day incident. But would their arguments be enough to sway the court? Could they cast enough doubt on the prosecution's case to secure Curie's freedom? Just a few days later, on June 12, 2023, Curie found herself back in the courtroom for a detention hearing. The stakes were high and the tension was palpable. The judge, after hearing the arguments, made a decision that would keep Curie behind bars. Citing the severity of the aggravated murder charge, the evidence presented, and the alleged motive, the judge denied Curie's request for bail. The decision was a blow to Curie's defense team who had hoped to see her released. As Curie was led back to her cell, the reality of her situation began to sink in. Would she be able to prove her innocence? Or was she destined to spend her days in a cell? Branded as the murderer of her own husband mid-June brought a new twist in the tale. On June 15th, 2023, Curie Richens from behind bars launched a counter lawsuit against Eric's estate. She claimed that she was entitled to at least half the value of the family home and the sale of Eric's business interests. The move was bold. A clear signal that Corey was not going to sit back and let her life be dismantled. But would the court see this as a rightful claim by a grieving widow or a greedy grab by a woman accused of murder? The very next day on June 16th, 2023, an email from Curry surfaced. Addressed to investigators, Curry attempted to explain the exotic vacations that had raised eyebrows. She denied that the couple ever had financial problems. Countering the prosecution's narrative of a financially motivated murder, she even mentioned an alleged affair that her husband had, adding another layer of complexity to the case. But was this email a genuine attempt at transparency, 
or a calculated move to shift the focus away from her? Less than a week later, on June 22, 2023, Corey was back in court for a status conference in her murder case. This time, she appeared visibly upset, her emotions on full display. Tears streamed down her face as she listened to the proceedings. The sight of Corey in distress elicited mixed reactions. Some saw a woman overwhelmed by the gravity of her situation, while others saw a potential murderer trying to garner sympathy. But what was the truth behind Corey's tears? By the end of June, the case took another dramatic turn. On June 28, 2023, Eric Richens' family filed a staggering $13 million lawsuit against Corey. They alleged that she had stolen hundreds of thousands of dollars from Eric and obtained fraudulent loans while he was alive. The lawsuit painted a picture of Curry as a manipulative and deceitful woman, driven by greed. But was this an accurate portrayal? Or a family's desperate attempt to make sense of a tragic loss? As we reach the end of June 2023, the tale of Curry Richens is far from over. This once-respected author and mother now finds herself at the center of a chilling murder case, facing both criminal charges and civil lawsuits. The accusations are severe, the evidence damning, and the community is left reeling. As Curry fights for her freedom and reputation, we are left with more questions than answers. Is Curry Richens a cold-blooded killer? Or is she an innocent woman caught in a web of unfounded accusations? As the gavel continues to fall in the courtroom, only time will reveal the truth in this gripping saga.